The KC-135, while it is an old aircraft, it has served us well because it gave us the foundation that we needed to have a tanker in the RSA for Bart. But because it's such an old aircraft, uh, the limitations were that it had a limited fuel capacity. Uh, it was not meant to carry passengers and cargo as efficiently as it can. So the scale of the operations that we could do in terms of airlift as well as aeromedical evacuation was limited. I am uh, Lieutenant Colonel Victor Ong. I am the commanding officer of uh, 112 Squadron. Uh, the role of the commanding officer is to ensure that mission success is achieved uh, and achieved safely. But for my role in this specific context, it's a little bit unique because uh, we just brought in this new aircraft, which is the A330 MRTT. So my role is to make sure that we operationalize this aircraft to ensure that it delivers the capabilities that it's meant to deliver to the organization. Previously, the KC-135 boom system is fly by hydraulic. So the boom operator will have more feel on the movement of the boom while he maneuvers the radiator control stick during AAR operation. Now the MRTT boom system is fly by wire. It means that the ARO flight control stick is now a lot more sensitive than the KC-135 and also it adds on more challenges as there are no feedback felt on the ARO control stick while performing AAR operation. My centre deals with the developmental testing and operational tests and evaluation as well as experimentation of uh, cutting-edge concepts and equipment. Uh, we ensure that all systems that pass through the centre undergo representative rigorous testing uh, to ensure that they meet the requirements of the RSAF. So we partner with the Royal Australian Air Force and work with the relatively small area that is the South China Sea. So with that, uh, we managed to certify the envelope and didn't really have much difficulty other than overcoming the initial obstacle. My job is to ensure the daily operations and to support the MRTD flying operations. As MFL of IMF, I have to ensure that our personnel are well trained with the maintenance capability the support equipment infrastructure are ready for it. This is part of the logistics setup prior to FOC of the platform. The ops and logs work together closely by understanding each other's roles and responsibility, as well as the challenges so as to better integrate and achieve our objectives, mission successfully. I think COVID-19 changed the world. COVID hit, the first thought on my mind was how to ensure operational readiness. My second thought was that how do I then deliver on full operational capability because we had a timeline to meet. Of course, I knew um, if I were to say that we can't meet the timeline because of COVID-19, I think it's understandable. But my other thought was that if there was a way for us to still deliver on time, uh, despite COVID-19, I think that would be a very strong message to, to everyone who's watching. We use this chance to focus internally during COVID-19 and to step up on our training for the tanker-to-tanker -tanker capability. What we had to do was to ensure that we were able to conduct tanker-to-tanker -tanker operations within a small airspace under both day and night conditions. As the pandemic began to subside towards the end of 2020, what the Air Force tried to do was to make sure that we were able to get back to business as usual. So what Darwin Detachment did for us was provided an opportunity for us to benchmark ourselves with one of the first MRTT operators in the world. What do I hope for the future for the squadron now that we've achieved full ops capability? So I think it's the beginning and it's not the end. Right now, what the squadron needs to do is to continue to drill down on the fundamentals because only when you're anchored in strong fundamentals you'll be able to deal with uncertainty in the future because we never know what's going to come. Next is to continue to expand on the areas that we can use this aircraft to continue to deliver on that mission to the SAF. And then lastly on people is to always remember our motto to be determined to deliver and to always work hard and play hard at the same time. Having that fun element is so important to team chemistry and do not forget that as Tanker Crew, what you bring to the fight 